Hello, Oscillator Sync here, and welcome back to another video in our series where we're exploring sound design on the lovely Korg Volker FM. Now, in this video, I want to talk about algorithms. Now, when you hear the term algorithm, it's probably a bit of a turn off for people who just want to make cool sounds on a synth because it sounds very mathsy or computer science y. Um, but it really isn't, and it's probably one of the most important concepts to get your head around when it comes to designing sounds uh, on FM synths, uh, when you're trying to get a sound in your head onto the synth itself. Now we're familiar with the concept of operators and we're familiar with the idea that the operators can be doing one of two jobs. They can be uh, acting as a carrier, the thing that we actually hear, or they can be acting as a modulator, which is the thing which affects the timbre of the carriers. Put simply, the algorithm describes how these operators are arranged and what job they are actually doing. So over the course of the last six videos, we've been using this basic uh, init patch here. Sounds like this, where we've had two operators, operator one acting as a carrier, the thing that we hear, and operator two acting as the modulator, altering the timbre of operator one. Now that describes what operator one and two are doing, uh, but of course the Volker FM like the DX7 is actually a six operator synth, so there's another four operators that we can account for. And the choice of the algorithm is gonna tell us what those operators are gonna do. Now in this case, we're using algorithm five, and Korg very helpfully provide you with a little uh, card here which explains what's uh, going on with the different algorithms. I'll, I'll flash this particular algorithm up on the screen now. So in algorithm five, we can see that um, just as I described, operator two is sat above operator one modulating it, but we've also got operator uh, three and five acting as uh, carriers as well. So if we wanted to, when we're working in this particular algorithm, we could bring those uh, operators in so we could hear them, we could tune them differently. Um, and then we've also got operators uh, four and six acting as modulators for uh, operators three and five respectively. And we can apply all of the sound design ideas that we've used so far to those operators. So we can apply our LFOs, we can apply our envelopes to shape what we're doing timbrely and what we're doing uh, volume wise. And we can bring those operators in and out independently of one another. Now the Volker FM supports 32 different algorithms. So that's 32 different ways that we can arrange our operators and tell them what job we want them to do, whether we want them to be a modulator or a carrier. And that can seem kind of overwhelming at first, I think. But there are, I think, three basic concepts that once you understand, it makes choosing the algorithm that's right for the sound that you want to make a lot easier. So I just want to look at um, three patches which looks at these three main concepts. So the first patch I want to talk about is using algorithm five. Now algorithm five, personally, I think is the algorithm which is most familiar to those of us who come from a sort of an analog synthesis background. So, so what we've got in algorithm five is three carriers and each of those carriers are being modulated by their own modulator. So what we've kind of got here is this idea of a three oscillator synth works great for jobs where you would use a three oscillator analog synth. The nice thing here is that each of our oscillators essentially has its own, if you like, filter section. Um, obviously that's been uh, done by our modulator instead, but that gives us a little bit more flexibility than you would have on a, a normal sort of mono synth with three oscillators. You know which synth I'm talking about. So um, here we've got a patch. At the moment, I have got all uh, three carriers turned on but none of the modulators. We've got a sound like this. Very, uh, kind of, it's kind of got a nice little warbly to it. So we've, what we've got here essentially are three carriers and each of those carriers are detuned and one of them is in a different octave as well. So we've got quite a nice rich sound. I mean, it's perfectly pleasant, I suppose. So um, if I go into the edit menu, I have prepared each of the modulators already. So we've got um, our carriers are just sort of doing a organ style situation where we've got sort of note on and then note off instantly. Um, what I've done with the modulators um, to varying degrees is I have put in a sort of a fairly quick rise on the envelope and then a slightly slower release. And as we bring in the modulators, so 
that's uh, the modulator for operator 5. Turn on the one for operator 3. And finally, for operator 1. And we can just kind of get to that sort of classic monosynth style sound, but very much in the FM um, sort of sonic template. It's quite a cool sound. Uh, and because we can apply different modulations to all of the different operators, we can tweak how they uh, react. So for example, if I wanted to, I could have operator two come in a little bit slower. So we have a bit more of a ramp up. So you can hear here that we've got a situation where well, we can replicate this with a um, an analog synth typically because all of our oscillators will be going through a single filter, but here we've essentially got a filter per voice, which we can treat separately, which is really quite cool. So the concept I want to talk about um, with this patch is all about how you want to stack up your carriers. So in this case, I've gone for a nice rich bass sound, which I've used um, a bit of octave shifting and some nice detuning as my sort of basic part of my sound. And then I've applied essentially a different um, filter to each of them. Now we've got all sorts of operators uh, which fall into this kind of category. Um, some of them uh, give us three operators like um, uh, algorithm five, but then we also have things like um, probably the other one that I use the most for this sort of thing would be something like algorithm 22, where I can stack up four different operators and really start to build up that richness and 21 as well. So in uh, algorithm 21, we've got two sets of carriers, each with their own uh, modulator. Still build things up in a really nice way though. So let's move along to the next patch I want to talk about. And this next patch is built by using algorithm 12. So algorithm 12 is quite interesting. So looking at it, we can see quite clearly uh, that uh, operator three is actually being modulated by three different modulators. Now, why on earth would you need that sort of uh, ability? Well, this brings me to the next idea here multiple modulators per carrier gives you uh, an opportunity to create harmonic um, more sort of a tonal richness actually um, so let's take a look so at the moment i've got all of my modulators turned off i've just got a bit of an envelope on there to give us kind of a nice little pingy thing going on there so let's head into the edit menu and see what we're doing so if we head over to one of our uh, modulators here, uh, so operator four. Uh, we'll ignore what we're doing on the envelope for a second. Let's move over to our tuning. So, of course, I've got it tuned to um, two, but more importantly, uh, for the um, fine, I've got it set um, somewhere else. So, this is where I'm going to be getting some bell tones, if you remember when we were looking at uh, the original uh, operators video. And as we look at the other three, you'll see that all of them are tuned slightly differently. Now what this allows us to do, if we head over back to the on off switch here, so this is without any modulators. As I bring in the first modulator, we're gonna start hearing some of those bell tones. Quite a nice sort of electric piano kind of sound. But as we bring in all these other detuned modulators, start to build up quite a complicated tonal picture and we get some very convincing kind of bell sounds. And the nice thing about this algorithm is we've still got operators one and two available to us if we wanted to have something uh, a little bit more basic sat underneath as well. So 
So this is the second concept that I want to talk about. If you have multiple modulators all firing into a single carrier, we have this opportunity to create very complex tonal ideas. Now, you can overdo it and things can get quite atonal and clangy. Hey, that might be what you want as well. Let's not rule that out. But if, if you're careful and you keep the relative levels of your different modulators to nice, uh, nice points, then you can build up these lovely bell sounds, sounds that you can possibly achieve with analog synthesis. It's, it's simply impossible. Um, but the, it really is in the wheelhouse for FM. Okay, so let's finally move on to the um, third patch that I want to talk about. So this is using Algorithm 2. Now, Algorithm 2, on the face of it, is a scary-looking algorithm because here we have modulators modulating modulators, which sounds insane. But it allows you to do this third kind of concept that I want to talk about. So um, let's take a look. So this is um, with our modulators all turned off but our two carriers kind of doing different things. So um, how I've got the uh, modulators uh, set up is, so um, let's just bring them in one by one. So um, the first modulator um, that's sat above operator three is, is operator four. So let's bring that in and take a look at what we've done. So here we've just got um, an operator that's sort of tonally related, which has a nice sort of sweep up at the start of the sound. It's a cool sound. Okay, so that's one of them. So at this point, we've just got a carrier modulator by modulator, which is normal. So let's bring in one of our first modulators that are modulating the modulators. <laughs> So what we've got here is an increase in harmonic richness, especially around those upper harmonics. Um, this is not the same as us having our multiple modulators or modulating one carrier and getting those bell tones. We're just getting pure additional harmonic content here. Okay, let's go to our last operator here. So by this point, we've got a modulator modulating a modulator, which has also been modulated by a modulator. Is that right? Something like that. Anyway, when you get to this point, the things can get pretty wild. Huge, huge boost in those harmonics. Buzzy, almost electric guitar, distorted. I've also added some LFOs to this final operator to make things even more interesting. So this demonstrates this third concept, which is when you have modulators modulating another modulator, um, that's when you create more harmonic richness, especially in these upper harmonics, and you can get things which are buzzy and uh, and cutting and sort of pseudo-distorted sounding, and, and, and the device, quite honestly, starts to operate at the extents of what it can actually do, and you get aliasing and all sorts of other weird stuff happening as well. Uh, very, very cool. So with those three ideas sort of um, in the back of your mind, it makes uh, it a lot easier for you to decide which algorithm you want to start with when you're building your sounds. That all being said, uh, there's something to be said for building a sound uh, that you kind of like. Uh, so let's just turn on these operators again. Uh, oops. That one's on, and that one's on, and that one's on. So we've got that nice bass sound here. And, you know, sometimes it's nice just to change which uh, algorithm you're using. You might find some other cool things. Buzzier. Kind of 
kind of a similar sort of flavour but a bit different. That's kind of cool. Oh yeah. And you can find all sorts of other interesting sounds uh, that way. So <laughs> despite saying, you know, pick your algorithm uh, carefully, think about the sound you want to make, sometimes it's just fun to poke about and explore. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you found that interesting and you've got a bit more of an insight on how the algorithms work on the Volker FM. Um, the next video I'm posting on the Volker FM is going to be a little bit different. Um, just because I've been working on something in the background that I'm really excited to share with you guys that I think is going to make building sounds on the Volcraft FM uh, maybe a bit easier and uh, quicker to get into. As soon as it is ready for me to share with you, you will see a video. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up as well. Until next time, guys, take care. I'll see you again soon.